Hey guys, I thought I would show you how to set up a custom domain with your GitHub. So there's a um, an instruction if you want to look up GitHub pages, you can have a a web page basically hooked up on uh, GitHub. And so what you need to do, this explains what the GitHub pages are, but basically it's you know a web page that's hosted by GitHub, and that's you have to create a, a repository. It's really easy. You just create a new repository, and then you just basically bring it to your local machine, clone it so that it comes down to your local machine, and then just do a little simple index file, and then commit it back. So if we go um, to my, it's called Will Krisky because that's my username. It has to call. It has to be called willkrisky.github.io. So whatever your username is, .github.io, and there's a um, here's the file that I had just with the hello world. So this is where you um, you can see the um, the file that's going to be the HTML. But I want to so here's if I go to URL Will Krisky GitHub. This is the web page. It's just a simple text string right now. But this is actually hosted on GitHub. But I want to have a um, domain name. So. What I did was under um, for this particular project here, um, I went to the settings here. There's a settings, and down here you can set up a custom domain. So I'm going to do that right now on my HostGator account. So I'm going to go to um, you know the subdomain section. It'll depend on what um, what host you're using for your website. But uh, if we go to Simple DNS Zone Editor, I made the mistake one time of actually going to the domain name server, and that screwed up things pretty badly because that domain. I'm ha with HostGator, I'm having many websites using one domain by using these add-on domains. So you can see here I've got all these different domains. So you don't want to change it at the, at the domain name provider. So you want to you want to do it at your host. So if I go to Will Krisky, you can see that there's a few here set up. Um, so I'm going to add a C name record here. And that is just, um, sorry, that's going to go here. And then, so that's like the name of your Will, Will Krisky. So that's just an extra subdomain here. And then I'm going to have the actual location. So C name is going to be where it's getting directed to. So that's going to be the um, this Will Krisky GitHub thing here. Let's copy that. So you can see that these these are the names that people are going to type in and they're going to get directed to here. And so this C name is going to take, so somebody's going to be able to go from GitHub Will Krisky to get to here. And I'm going to put a link on my website uh, here just show you the website here for a second. So this is my site, and I could put the GitHub like in a menu, or I could put it in the sidebar or in a blog post or wherever you want to put a link. And so um, that's up to you. So this is just a, a GitHub widget right now, but if I want to have a link to my to this, and then I can. Over, I'm going to update this, you know, site so that it looks a lot nicer than that. But it was just a, just to get me going. So let's see if I type in Facebook. So you can see now, GitHub. Will Krisky is directed to Hello World to uh, the, the actual site. So that's a, that's kind of a cool, and then. You know, you can edit those files for your website 
if we look here, there's the index HTML. I can, you know, make it fancier. And the nice thing is these sites are using Markdown, so it's really easy to um, edit the site using the Markdown and not get into all the HTML stuff if you don't want to. So hope that helps you guys. Talk to you later.